and give a cordial welcome to the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Tim Tuskegee.
the Democrats, the Republicans, the Independents, all this kind of stuff. I don't care if anybody. You know, all I care about is just one thing. It's just simply just this. It's you. It's West Virginia. It's this great nation that we have. And all the stuff about it. You know, there was a guy that one time looked at me and he said, what I thought was really smart. He said, kids know what you like. Well, I promise you, you know in your heart that if you're really honest, I, you know I love you, and I do, and you know your teachers do, and you know all the people, and you know all the cooks and the custodians and the people that are taking care of you do. It's really, really important. So absolutely, it makes us what we are. It makes us really, really good. Now, all of you have been through a tough time the last 18 months or so. This pandemic has been awful. And you're all sitting there with your mask on. And it's been awful, hasn't it? It really has. But we absolutely know a lot of people, too, that have gotten really, really sick. And I wish I could tell you something that would be a miracle cure-all, just boom, it all go away. All we can do is deal with what we got. And so I encourage you to be positive to one another. There's some that are, are going to say, with their parents' consent, there's some that's going to say, we want to get vaccinated. And there's others that are going to say, we don't want to do it. What should we really do? Love each other. Respect each other. That's all there is to it. I would tell you, and I would encourage your parents, and I would encourage you, and then to just do one thing, just think really hard about this, because getting vaccinated right now is the only thing I know that I can tell you that works. It's the only thing really that we got right now. And you know what about it? Here's the thing that you can write this down that is for sure true. All it's doing is buying us a little time. See, if we protect ourselves for another six months or four months or nine months, maybe, just maybe, the really smart people of the world will find a way to knock this thing completely out. It's been tough. It's been really tough. So with all that, you know, along the way, we did all kinds of neat things. You know, you probably wonder what this chair is sitting here for. And, and I've got somebody that's especially wanted to come and see you. So if y'all will look right down there, just maybe, maybe you'll see something that's really, really special. Joey!
to encourage you to remember baby dog. And I would tell you just this, and you know, I, we're going to supposedly give away a bunch of stuff and everything else, and I would tell your teachers or your principal or the administrators or whomever they be, if anybody wants to come down and say hi to baby dog and pet baby dog, I'll sit right here and tell you all, all come if you want to come, and, uh, and she'd, she'd love to see you. And the only other thing is with the teachers, I don't know how much time we got, but, uh, but I'm going to get my mask if all of you are going to come down here. And uh, y'all hold up, hold up. I said, Joey, would you run there and get my mask, please? And then when y'all all come down here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you, and baby dog's going to hug all of you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Christian, I forgot the biggest thing of all. You know, this is really important. This way, stand right here. This guy right here is the curator of the arts in West Virginia. Now, his name is Randall Reed Smith. He is so talented, it is unbelievable in every way. And he loves our state and absolutely loves everything to do about the arts, and he's stuck on on all the time. Now, that's really important. Really, really, really important. The other thing he does is he's so enthusiastic that he can absolutely just break loose with all his talent and everything at any time. In all of that, along the way, what we did is we did a contest. We did a contest to just find out, you know, to, we picked, I think, four, four schools across the state that had a chance because of their, the way they were vaccinated, you've done clinics, you've done other stuff, and, and we, but we picked four schools and threw them out of a hat. And that school is going to win $50,000. $50,000. And you know who won it? You guys won it.
also want to remind you, it is very, very important to keep those vaccination rates going. We're, we're not out of the woods. We're getting there. But if you guys keep doing your part, talk to your parents, your grandparents, and let's see if we can't just get the numbers up so we can get rid of these Dagbert masks.